Welcome back fellow web creators and entrepreneurs. In this tutorial I'm going to cover how to add cinematic title text to a video in Adobe Premiere, as shown. To kick things off, go down to the new item button and select black video. Then drag the black video onto your timeline and extend it to around 7 seconds. If you can't see the individual seconds on your timeline, like me, Drag the zoom bar down here to zoom into your timeline. Now extend it to around 7 seconds. Next, click the type tool and add your desired text. You may want to drag the text duration so that it matches the black video. Then select your text and go over to effect controls. For the purposes of this video, I'm using the Beavis Neuer font, which is available on the web for free. Find a link in the description below. I've chosen a font size of 90 for this demonstration. Now, change the tracking setting to 300 to create some spacing between your letters. Next, center your text by going over to the Essential Graphics panel, up here. Select Edit, and then click these two alignment buttons to center your text both horizontally and vertically. Once centered, return to the Editing layout. Position your time marker at the start of your text clip. Go back to Effect Controls, open up the Opacity settings, reduce the opacity to zero, then click the stopwatch next to opacity, and this will create a starting keyframe. Zoom into your timeline here if necessary. Then move the time marker to the two second mark and adjust the opacity to 100 to create a second keyframe. Now move the time marker to the four second mark and click the circle to create a keyframe at that current position. Move the time marker again to the 6 second mark and adjust the opacity to 0 to create a 4th keyframe. Now if you play your footage back, your text fades in and out. To make it look smoother, drag and select all of your keyframes. Right click any one of them and select Auto Bezier. Much better, now it looks smooth and professional. Next, let's make it grow slightly as it fades in and out. Reposition the time marker to the start of your text clip. Jump into the motion settings, click the stopwatch next to scale to create a starting keyframe. Under opacity, move the time marker to the last keyframe at 6 seconds by clicking this go to next keyframe button 3 times. The time marker will jump through all keyframes and land on your last keyframe. Go back to scale and increase its value to 110. Playing back your footage, now your text grows slowly over its duration. To add an impactful cinematic finish, go down to the effects panel. Search for Gaussian Blur and drag the effect onto your text layer. Next, select your text layer and go back up to Effect Controls. Position your time marker at the start of your text clip. Under Gaussian Blur Properties, click the stopwatch next to Blurriness and adjust the blurriness to 50 to create a starting keyframe. Now, back under Opacity, click the Go to Next Keyframe arrow to jump to the next keyframe at 2 seconds. Then, change the blurriness back to 0. Again, under Opacity, hit the Go to Next Keyframe arrow again. Click the little circle next to Blurriness to create another keyframe at zero blur. Hit the Go to Next Keyframe arrow once again and change the blurriness back to 50. Now you have a nice looking cinematic title that blurs in and out while growing slightly in Adobe Premiere. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon.